but you have to have wondered, how do those ideas, how do those desires, how do those hopes and dreams, how do those vibrational realities, how do they get into your real life experience? How do you turn those thoughts to things? How do they become relationships and experiences? How does, how do I get the money in the bank, Abraham, in the bank? I want to get it out of the vortex and into the bank. Okay. <laughs> how do I do that? And the way you do it is through the natural laws of the universe. The way you do it is by not keeping it out of the bank. That's the thing that we want you to understand. You just got to let the door open. You just keep it out. Of, you stop keeping it out of the bank. Now, how's that? Don't do that anymore. That's not what we're saying. We want to talk about what you are wanting to do. So the way that things move or become from an idea, from a vibrational reality into something that you are realizing is that you have to tune your frequency to the realization of it. Now we know you didn't want to hear that, but we needed to tell you that you are the realizers. That's the best word that Esther can find. That's how manifestations occur. You realize them. You realize them by finding a frequency. And at first, when you find it, it feels weird to you. Maybe it feels a little exciting for a moment. In fact, that's a moment of recognizing the full potential of your desire. You feel exhilarated about it for a moment. But if you don't shoot it in the foot, if you don't wrestle it to the ground and kill it with reality, if you don't yeah, but it to death, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but what about this? What about this? Esther said to us in the beginning, Abraham, it's true. This thing that I know that you don't want me to talk about is a true thing. Don't you think that I should at least acknowledge that it is a true thing? And we said, there are all kinds of things in this world that are true that you want to live. And there are all kinds of things that are true in this world that you don't want to live. We would let whether you want to live them or not be the criteria for whether you give your attention to them. But Abraham, Esther said, it's such a big world and there are so many things out there. Am I supposed to put my head in the sand? We said, yes, and meditate. <laughs> Am I supposed to put my head in the sand? Am I supposed to put my head in the sand and just pretend that those things aren't happening? And we say, you have choice in all of that. Just know that when you give your attention to things, momentum ensues. And eventually you can create a belief that is so strong a belief that is so strong that it will become your reality. You can also create a desire that is so strong that it can become your reality. So what's happening to you? What really happens? What, what makes the difference? Is your belief so strong or is your desire so strong? How does that play out? And we say law of attraction gives you the exact balance that you've got going on. You can go a long way in cleaning up those desires. You can go a long way in improving those beliefs. You can go a long way in sifting and sorting your now reality, looking for positive aspects. You can go a long way in looking at what is and finding the things that feel the best. In other words, you have much more discernment. You have much more capability to offer vibration than you've been practicing. And we've written a lot of books with a lot of processes to help you practice. And we are impressed with the application that you've been offering. But today we want to say to you, it's so much easier if when you wake up in the morning, you just say to yourself, mm, I could be wobble free. I'm wobble free for now. I'm wobble free. I don't have to bring into this day the things that were bothering me yesterday. I don't have to do, oh, there it is. I brought it in already. <laughs> when we first started talking to Esther about this, she didn't make it till breakfast before she was wobbling all over the place. In other words, because you got lots to think about and you've got these practiced thoughts and we don't want you to be hard on yourself about beliefs that aren't serving you. But we do want you to be aware of what beliefs you have that serve you and what beliefs that don't. Esther will find herself moving through a day and all of a sudden she'll find herself not feeling so good, sort of this subtle feeling of discomfort. And she will stop now and say, Oh, I just uncovered something that I apparently have been thinking about long enough that it surfaced just now. What was I just thinking about that gave me that funny feeling in my stomach? Because when that happens, that's a little piece of resistance that is showing itself to you. And we're not really encouraging that you sit down right then and try to talk yourself out of it because you will only add momentum to it, but recognizing it. And then at first opportunity, identifying what it is that you do want relative to that. And then the next day, start out thinking about what you do want. 
you will really be pleased with how quickly you can shift the vibrational frequency of your habits of thought. You can change your beliefs. Your beliefs are only thoughts that you keep thinking and you don't have to continue to think unhelpful beliefs. Esther will say, well, that was unpleasant and unnecessary, unnecessary, unpleasant and unnecessary. So what we're really saying to you is it is our powerful desire that you love yourselves as we love you enough that you are willing to stop torturing yourself with unpleasant thoughts that you will stop accepting negative emotion as just the way life has to be. You say things like these are hard times. They are not hard times. You say things like the economy is bad. The economy is not bad. Economy is an individual thing and there are those who are thriving. Might as well be you. So let's talk about money and let's think about what you can do with money, what money, how money positively affects your experience. And it's easy to have a discussion about what you could do with money, with lots more money, with twice as much or 10 times as much or a hundred times as much. You can think about what you can do with money. So you sort of focused on what you might want to do with money. And now let's talk about how you're going to get some money and how money is, it's portable, it's tangible, it's, um, exchangeable and it's spendable and you like to spend money. You like to spend money, but in order to spend money, you have to get money. So you have to get money to spend money. And there's the rub right there. <laughs> there's the rub. So now if I don't have, if I'm not in the money place that I want to be in, then thinking about money is just annoying because I don't have money. And so as I'm thinking about spending more money, I just get more and more out of balance because for me to be in balance relative to money, money in, money out, money in, money out. And what I'm stumbling over is how to get the money in, how to get it in. So the discussion isn't pleasant and nothing changes very much. And I'm sort of living the same life year after year after year in relationship to money money got to figure out how to get it and where to get it and when it will come and where it will come from and who to help and 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 the more I talk about this the worse it feels to think about money we don't want you to think about money because money is part further down the road money is the manifestation part money is realized by you later on in the scenario what we want you to think about is the vibrational currency that you all have access to we want you to spend vibrational currency not money now stay with us because it it it, it feels tricky <clears throat> it is a trick <laughs> but it will serve you really really well there is this vibrational currency a vibrational currency that you're already tapped into and getting the vibrational currency is so much easier than getting the money because you have the doors closed to getting the money in some regards, but you can more easily open the doors to the vibrational currency. Now just stay with us just a little bit. So instead of thinking about money, we want you to find the emotional vibrational equivalent to money, like, like the feeling of freedom. Think about confusion and clarity, confusion, not wanted clarity, wanted. Can you feel how it's just a mindset to find the difference that you can find clarity over confusion just by focusing your mind? Can you feel how, money feels harder to accomplish than clarity because clarity is a mindset, but money needs a job. <laughs> money needs a job. Money needs a means money needs a, a way to get it to yourself. Stay with us. So what we're wanting you to begin feeling from us is that in the same way that you can move in very short period of time 
from confusion to clarity, or from a bad mood to a good mood. You can. You do it with your kids all the time. You can talk somebody into a good mood. You can talk yourself into a good mood, especially if you start earlier in the day. So if, if, you, if you're following us a little bit here, we're talking about vibrational currency. Clarity is vibrational currency. So now let's relate that to dollars. How can you, how can you find an emotional word, which is to say, how can we find a vibrational currency word about money. It feels free. It feels secure. It feels easy. It feels nice. Now, as you find those feelings, you have accomplished a wobble-free moment while you're focused upon the subject of abundance or currency. And in that absence of wobble-free, if you sustain this, and we want you to do it over the next few days, when you think about money, don't think about where it's coming from. Think about the vibrational currency that you have access to right this minute. We want you to begin thinking about the emotion that you can accomplish right here and now. Because the emotion is the first manifestation the money will be a later manifestation, but if you don't get the first manifestation, you're not going to get the later manifestation. Are you with us? All right. Are you with us? Did you, you, it's so good. We have not had this conversation in this way before, but this is the way you turn thoughts to things. This is the way the vibration becomes a reality. You have to let it be an emotional reality first, and you have to practice it as the emotional reality long enough that you're stable in it. Because when you're stable in it long enough, now momentum is going to ensue and things are going to show up for you. And you're going to say, where, how could I have been missing that? It was there all along. So now, now, do you like that? We like that so much. We like that so much. So, so now you take a subject about your physical well-being, a diagnosis. You, you don't, you don't, you not only don't have money in the bank, you've got a great big old debt with, that's a medical diagnosis that has a big old label on it. And so it's not easy to just all of a sudden erase that from your mind. And it's not easy to find a path in the same way that people are having a hard time these days a bit, finding a path of money into their experience while they could find the path of, of feeling good into their experience instantaneously, since they they haven't found the way since there's not a specific cure or a specific thing that other people have done enough that you can just believe it for sure then it gets you all hung up you've got to come through the back door like Esther always does <laughs> through the belly of the well where there's always somebody back there with a key you've got to, and somebody's already put the arrows on the walls for you in other words you got to come in it a different way and that different way is you have to focus on the emotional accomplishment that you can accomplish, not the manifestational part that is a little slower in coming. And it is our promise to you. It is our absolute promise to you. It is our absolute promise to you that if you find this emotion of well-being, because it's present in so many other ways, look at you, look at how you are, feel your hardiness, feel your clarity, feel, feel the stamina that you have. In other words, there is so much evidence of physical well-being. If you will ignore the piece that's out of whack and amplify the things that make you emotionally feel strong. You don't have to feel emotionally strong for very long for the money to start flowing. And you don't have to feel emotionally strong for very long before the well-being is dominant within your experience either. That's how you turn thoughts to things. You mold them in your emotional center by caring about how you feel. <clears throat> and you find yourself unwilling to think scary thoughts and unwilling to think thoughts that don't feel good about anything. You say, that's the path. And it's an easy path. It's as easy as changing confusion to clarity. It's exactly the same process. It's that easy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.